What's up YouTube? My name is Clickwood and I am back again today bringing you guys a new video and today we are playing a wager game against a subscriber known as LBoogie1972 here on PS4 and he is going to be wagering his 96 overall Jamal Charles against my 40,000 coins. And just to let you guys know before we even get started, I understand that I ran some cheesy offense in this game and so did he. It was a very back and forth game of cheese. But after some of the other games that I've played where the other opponent hasn't really done a good job of putting points on the board, at least this guy does a good job of putting points on the board. The game's pretty close. I think you guys are going to enjoy it. But like I said, I understand some cheesy offense. Leave me alone in the comments section, please. Let's go. All right. So first play of the game. We are going to go with the outside zone. He's a subscriber, like I said. He knows that this stuff's coming. And he gets hit with the back juke and CJ2K is going to go all the way to the house. The first touchdown of this football game as he high steps his way into the end zone. Now on defense here and he's got quarterback Walter Payton as well, which is something that I definitely tried to, to pay attention to in this one. First play here, he did take the ball and run to the outside. Now third and five and he's going to complete a pass on the comeback route. I dived like an idiot with Charles Woodson and he's able to pick up a decent gain of 14 there. First and 10 now, and watch this. The read option is going to start to come into play, but we hit him with Antro Roll, and he somehow recovers the fumble. Very tough to swallow for me there on that one because that should have been my football. Third and inches, and look how reckless he is with Walter Payton as he gets flung around like a gymnast on that one. Couple plays later, and he is going to go with a more standard option here, and it goes for a big gain here as Shane Vereen makes a back juke. He is now at first and 10 here at about the 28 yard line. And he's going to try running off the edge again with Walter. And I ended up running a contain here two plays in a row with Alden Smith. And he makes a big hit there on Shane Vereen to force an incompletion. Third and 11. We've got Smith in a contain again. So he's going to actually try to throw. Gotcha, bitch. Deion Sanders comes up with the interception. A huge one there. And we have the football back again here. Now, watch this. Remember the last play. I went off the right side with the outside zone. This time, we take it to the left, and he is going to be gone again. Two rushes, two touchdowns as he misses a tackle there, and CJ2K is in the groove in this game. There is no question about it. Now, back on offense, my opponent has put in Andrew Luck, and I thought that this would mean less read option, and it did to some extent, but look at this pass that he makes. This is Shane Vereen against Deion Sanders. He makes the catch with three guys blanketing him about 20 yards down the field. Next play, he hits me with a read option. Like I said, was not expecting it with Andrew Luck there, and he gets a big gain. And Luck now hands it off to Shane Vereen up the middle, who gets another first down. Brings the ball down to about the five yard line. It is second and five here. Luck's gonna go off the right side and get stopped. That could have been a fumble there. Charles Woodson with the tackle. Third and goal and Nande Asamoa chokes the interception, which costs us because the very next play, he hits Kyle Rudolph for a touchdown. Now we're back on offense. We've got 54 seconds left and it is time to try and put some points on the board before the half. I go with the read option here with Walter Payton. We pick up the first down and we give him the same look here and now we're going to go with a screen pass. Or are we? He usered that one really well but it left me wide open with quarterback Walter Payton to pick up a big gain here. 16 seconds left on the clock now in the first half and we complete a pass over the middle to Chris Johnson and we are actually going to run it out here. We kick a field goal to go up 17 to 7 to end the first half. A two score lead going into the second and now look at quarterback Walter Payton for his team another read option and again i just can't stop it i swear i was committing to the quarterback and it still wasn't working which i've been told since then is a pretty common thing that happens if people run qb rap so next time i'm gonna have to pay closer attention as i miss a tackle there with antro roll saw it coming still couldn't stop it there and he's just continuing and continuing to run the read option i can't stop it this time he actually handed it off and he's gonna hand it off here one more time up the middle shane vereen breaks a tackle and scores a touchdown that brings it back within three, but Chris Johnson is not going to allow that to stay. Another big game here as he goes off the left side. Seven attempts for over 200 yards as you saw there on the graphic. And look at Donald Penn just beasting, guys. He picks up another huge block as we get another first down. Off the right side now with Reggie Bush. The Juke gets another first down here as we are back in business. 
close to the red zone, 24 yard line here. And after running the ball down his throat, we finally give him the same look and go play action over the top to Vernon Davis for a touchdown. That puts us up again, another 10 point lead. But look at quarterback Walter Payton. The read option again, but he fumbled this time. He could have stepped out of bounds, but he tried to be too cocky. And we finally get a fumble. We finally get one after all the big hits we've laid on Walter Payton. And we just need to hold on to the ball. We need to hold on to the ball. If we can put more points on the board, great. But we do not need to be dangerous with the football as we throw a nice pass there to Trinidad Holiday for a completion. And I'm just trying to keep him honest here. I want to make sure that he's not committing to the run. And every time that I get a big pass play, I'm going right back to the run. Chris Johnson with another nice gain there. He is just putting up massive yardage here. And again, we go with the play action, but he didn't have a spy on us. So Walter Payton is going to take it himself for another touchdown. That puts us up 31 to 14 here in the fourth quarter. 342 left and he's got to score 17. But plays like this are going to allow him to do that another read option for a big gain. But Malcolm Smith tracks him down from behind, keeps him out of the end zone here. And that would end up being huge as the very next play, he tries to go with the read option again, but Charles Woodson forces a fumble and we recover it. Charles Woodson, amazing. That was an incredible play by him. And we now are gonna take the ball with our own read option up the middle to Chris Johnson. He picks up a first down and that is gonna do it in this one as my opponent decides that he has had enough. We do take the Jamal Charles in this one. My opponent paid up, good for him. Thank you for doing that, I appreciate it. And I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, make sure you press that like button, leave a comment below. If you talk about how cheesy my offense was, damn it, I'm deleting your comment. No, I'm just kidding. Go ahead and talk about it, all you guys want. Like I said, it was back and forth cheese ball offenses, so it is what it is. But I hope it was enjoyable because there were a ton of big plays in this one. It was one of the funnest games that I've played. So I, again, like I said, I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please press that like button. Like I said, leave a comment if you would. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel because there's going to be a lot more wager games where this came from. And we're going to be back doing pink slips again this week. So again, pay attention to that because you're going to have an opportunity to play me for a very, very good player. I know what card we're putting up and I think you guys are going to be really excited about it. So again, stay tuned. Subscribe to my channel to see that. And don't forget to follow me on Twitter as well, at ClickwoodTV. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will talk to you beautiful bitches again soon.